bring it to me. You gotta bring it closer so I can throw it. Okay, so today's been a weird day. I <laughs> weird days every day now. Um, yeah, I got up early, did my routine in the morning. I journal in the morning and do my internal practices. And then normally I exercise, just didn't get to that. That's why I'm walking at night. And then I got involved in, well, first I had a nap because I was exhausted and it wasn't a very long one. And then I started working on a video. I'm watching the adjustment bureau while painting my nails. And uh, right near the beginning where he was in the bathroom with, uh, what's her name, the girl. And then he comes out and makes a speech, lies. And then he comes clean and he says that what made him famous or most successful was the fact that he was authentic. And yet he'd been lying, so now he's on the authenticity path. Well, a video I was recording was taking quite some time. I had to go get some groceries. It's now five o'clock. <laughs> and I was receiving packages. One didn't get delivered, so I went to the post office. It's not there yet. And there's no notification, so I don't know what happened. And then I picked up another package, so here I am walking, walking and talking to you. Now I'm hoping that this light is a little more flattering than it is in the daytime because <laughs> I happen to dislike this new phone because it's not very flattering. The angles are not flattering. Maybe I'm just not flattering. I don't know, but it just seems a little bit weird how Sometimes I look great. Other times, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> okay, what am I talking about today? Because I started working on this video, which I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying making it, but it's taking too long, so I'll never be able to edit it. And so initially, I was going to talk about um, street theater, but that involves a little bit more finagling as well. And it's a little chillier out here than I thought. Um, what do I want to talk about today? Let me think about this and I'll get back to you. All right, I guess one thing that I would like to address is what, how I look at the world now. Because after, I've been through a lot of, change in the last two months. Anybody in the member section has been following my story on that. <laughs> and uh, the revealing, I guess, of all of these things that are coming to light from within, it's kind of exciting. Uh, Moments of a little bit of pain, but good pain, you know, pain of breakthroughs, pain of knowing that there's something better on the other side. And it's like, so I mentioned in a previous video that I had been presented with this. Hey, do you want this? And I go, yeah, that looks good. I love that. So, and I had some resistance to it. So what I was reflecting on about that was that the resistance that I have early on when I'm presented with something, something that I really want, like really want, but I have reservations <laughs> and I care about the unfolding of it. I care about how it feels and what it does and, and how it, um, how it manifests in the process. And so, like, years ago, I was presented with an opportunity and I said, well, I only want it if it's on these terms. And then the answer I got back was yes. So I said, okay, fine. So I went ahead with it and the unfolding of it had no resistance in it. So it unfolded very 
easily. Similar thing to what I'm going through right now. And that process was full of resistance because I had all of these uh, reservations, concerns that I needed addressed. And now that they're clear, I don't feel any resistance anymore. So for me, I prefer to have the resistance up front and that way the unfolding of it is super easy and fun. Now I'm in the stage where I'm enjoying the unfolding of it and she's curious as to how it's going to unfold, what it's gonna look like and how much fun it's gonna be, how magical it's gonna be. So I'm excited to see where it goes. And, you know, it might take months, it might take days, it might take years. So what? You know, like I've made my choice, I've decided, and now it has to, has to be. Okay, so I'm back to where I was before I had my uh, bad mood day, where I'm laughing at everything, which is great, I love it. And I feel like everyone's my friend, everything's working out for me. There's nothing to be afraid of, nothing to worry about. It's a really good place to be. Now, when I was going through my Ascension journey, a few people mentioned that you would get to this place. You know, this is the kingdom of heaven, right? And I was like, okay, when? <laughs> when do I get there? What does it look like? How does it feel? Well, you know, you gotta let go of that because Oh, this is pretty. Look at the, the Christmas egg, Christmassy lights. How pretty is that? Yeah, so um, you have to let go of that sort of thing. All along my journey, I was impatient. I was impatient to to receive knowledge, to receive information to get to the next level to get through the the slow parts you know where nothing's happening no synchronicities no messages nothing but i started to practice patience and get used to it because i knew there was a reason for it because if i received all of it at the same time it would be too much to take so um, now, listen, if, wherever you are in your journey, savor it. Even the bad bits, even the painful bits, savor it because it is the ride of your life. It, is, it really is the most challenging, fun, heartbreaking, uh, honestly, this is how you know you're alive. I don't understand this place. There's a question that's been running through my mind the last few days. And it's starting to come back to me through other people's videos. And that question is why us? I kind of ha I think I have to get over this idea of separation because... Um... Like, we know we, the dead, dead entities, the simulated characters, the whatever you want to call them, I call them dead entities, like they, um, they are not the same because there's some serious hatred going on and it's hatred toward us, towards people who are seeking the truth, towards people who are speaking out, like venomous hatred. Uh, I've never experienced anything like it. They don't need to see everything, but I hope they see everything they need to see to be free of this place. And I would imagine that that is our ultimate goal here.
is to free ourselves. While we're here, I think we have to free ourselves while we're here in order to leave. Yeah, on my journey, I was impatient. I wanted to get to the next phase. And sometimes I was in down phases, but usually when I was in the fun phases, you know, like the 88 gate experience that I shared with you, the crowning experience, all of that stuff. See, that was fun. Making breakthroughs, having insights and revelations and street theater and synchronicities, that's all fun. Getting to the lulls is <laughs> lulls are kind of painful because the magic looks like, well, where's the magic? Is it done? What, am I stuck in the 3D again? The, the lulls, like I said, are necessary. You need the break. Okay, but then there were times where I would go through these experiences where I would see a little bit and I'd say, oh, okay, that hurts, but I want more. You're like, I'm ready, just give it to me. <laughs> the source is like, uh-uh, you're not ready for this yet, uh-uh. So, um, I'm not sure if I shared my hole in the wall experience, but I had a hole in the wall experience where I saw parallel universes. And that was when I said like, yeah, give me more. It hurts, but give me more. The source is like, no. <laughs> And the answer is always, you'll understand when, you know, when the moment comes. I now understand why, because there were things that I needed to experience and go through before I could see what they had to show me. I say they, but it's me. My higher self had to show me. And so, yeah, I was impatient because I knew there was something good on the other side. There always is. And even though it's painful, I still want to know and I still want to see it. So, the pieces are falling into place and I'm seeing more of it. There's more to come. Can't talk about it, but it's exciting and my hand is numb. <laughs>